Today, 8th of June, is World Oceans Day. To educate passers-by, the Barcelona Foundation for Ocean Sailing has organized workshops outside its race HQ. Estamos aquí en el portal de, de la PAU y como Día de los Océanos que es, desde la Fundación Navegación Oceánica de Barcelona y la Barcelona World Race, eh, estamos haciendo cosas para promocionar lo que son las energías renovables, hablar sobre la sanidad y su impacto sobre la biodiversidad y la vida cotidiana de las personas. Y también tenemos un cuento donde podemos concienciar a los más pequeños sobre la contaminación de los plásticos y cómo afectan estos en, el, en los océanos. And passers-by were willing to sign up, indicating their support for protection of the oceans. Me comprometo a no tirar plásticos al mar. No me gusta de pas jeter residuos a la mer. Prometo a reciclar cada día. Je promets de ne plus jeter les bouteilles dans la mer. Promise to help protect the oceans, help keep them clean and secure. Je promets de utiliser moins d'eau pour la mer. At sea, the skippers are the prime witnesses of marine life, but also the extent of the ocean's pollution. Back to the race. Overnight, the Amoka Ocean Masters New York to Barcelona race boats have tried to cross a dying front which was in their way, and in light winds often found themselves becalmed. So while yesterday morning the distance between first and last was only 25 miles, this Sunday morning, fourth place Gaius has dropped back to 140 miles behind the race leader Saffron. The Spanish crew chose to split north from the fleet yesterday to try to be first into the new breeze. However, they ended up struggling in just five knots. But co skippers Anna Corbea and Gerard Maran found a solution not to get depressed. Yesterday evening, Hugo Boss lost second place to Team Neutrogena, which powered past them to the south. Ryan Braymer and Pepe Ribas' plan to stay north where they ended up being becalmed for several hours, has cost them dearly. From the beginning, the French crew on Saffron has seemed unstoppable. Thanks to their southerly route, Saffron is the only boat that has managed to keep her boat speed above 10 knots throughout this period. By tonight, the crew should be through the light patch and will find out whether their respective gambles have paid off. Geiss may be the first one to find more wind, but will it enable them to reduce their deficit on the leaders? You'll know tomorrow on Ocean Master's YouTube channel.